Hi guys, this is gsnom.com and I'm here with the Motorola Moto G6 Plus. So here we are with the biggest device of the triplet. The triplet includes the G6, G6 Play and G6 Plus. So let's load up our website. This is the biggest of the bunch. The other two have 5.7 inch screens. This one has a 5.9 inch screen and it's got a uh, Full HD Plus resolution. It also has a fingerprint scanner here below the screen, which is also supposed to be used for gesture navigations in the interface. Speaking of interface, it's quite stock, quite straightforward, Android 8.0 Oreo. The battery is uh, pretty generous, 3200 mAh, and the phone comes with a Snapdragon 630 processor and 6GB of RAM, although on some markets it may have 4GB of RAM. Uh, storage is 64 or 128 plus microSD. We've got uh, Dolby Audio here, as you can see. And uh, let's see what else. The screen is an IPS LCD 5.9 inch Snapdragon 630 and the back camera is similar to the G6 one. Uh, here we have a 2 megapixel and 5 megapixel working together, dual tone flash and one of the camera has 1.7 aperture and the other f2.2 aperture. Dual pixel technology is promised and this one, unlike the others, is able to film in 4K. At the front, 8 megapixel shooter with LED flash, Dolby audio and audio noise cancelling, Wi-Fi, FM radio, audio jack, USB type support at the bottom and overall the price should be around 299 or maybe um, $300 for this device. Stock interface and those typical moto actions and moto automatization options. So here we go, allowing stuff here. Okay, and Moto Key, Moto Actions, Moto Display, and Moto Voice Command. Uh, the pre-installed apps are pretty stock, there's no bloatware here, this is a bit of a phablet. Battery is not as generous as the Moto G6 Play, but still pretty good for this uh, format. You should have fast battery charging at uh, 15 watt, and I noticed that there's pre-installed Outlook and linked in on this device. As usual, I'm going to have a look at the camera interface, this cute little flower here. Let's check it out. We have modes like spot color, panorama, portrait. Portrait is basically bokeh and you can be able to refocus and then defocus the background and the foreground according to your needs. Spot color is actually interesting. I've seen it on the Moto X4. Uh, you just select one of the colors and make, the everything, make everything else uh, black and white. As you can see, decrease or increase the color. I've seen this on the Moto X4 before. Okay, let's see what else, fast photo, video, and you can go up to 4K video on this device. Motorola Moto G6 Plus, that's the name, $300 is the price, not bad for a handset that could be able to rival at least 70% of the Moto X4 with ease. This is from gsnom.com, bye bye.